Brother, scooting and booting right along. So our prediction, just to verify, was 13 and 3 for the four. Buffalo. 13 and 4. 13 and 4. With 17 the new... games in the season. What do you think about that? I don't like that it's an odd number. I didn't think it would bother me, but it does. Bothers There's no too. eight and eight teams anymore. Like eight and eight is like the the epit- <laughs> like that's the like Tony Romo team. I hate to say it. I, I hate mean, to do it. I, I, they should have done better than that, but that was like the epitome <laughs> of uh, the Cowboys, like in the 2010s. Have you ever seen the Cowboys Super Bowl versus versus the Bills? I've watched both of them. Yes. Okay. Bro. Both of them. I mean, I'll just. That's why I'm getting my, that. That's why I'm getting my kicks in now. I'll leave that there. Right now. <laughs> I, I didn't see him live, but no, I sure I as hell have seen him on YouTube yeah, 20 times yeah, a piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Good days. I mean, who knows? A Dallas Cowboys versus Buffalo Bills Super Bowl is highly likely, in my opinion. <laughs> highly likely. This reporter believes. <laughs> I mean, what's going what's gonna to stop us? Our offense... We got threats at every angle. We need our O-line to stay healthy. Yeah. Our defense, Mike is in the mix. All linebacking core is healthy. D-Law is looking better than ever. I think the defense is going to be the issue. I think Micah Parsons, <sighs> Micah Parsons is one man. But, you know, like, I, I don't got, think, it, uh, I don't think da- it's a good sign. that We got Dan Quinn, though. That's true. But I don't think it's a good sign that Leighton Van Der Esch is, like, already a backup to He's Parsons. not. He's not. He kind of is to Parsons, though. No, they're, they're the starting three. Uh, yeah, but he's not the number one. Parsons has come in and is the number one already. Is I that mean, not a concern at all to you? To me, I, I think our linebacking core, if healthy, can be elite. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. If they're all performing at that level, yeah, they're, 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 they're at the level that they should uh, yeah, or are capable of, at least, Absolutely. then I agree. I agree they could be elite. I, I don't know about your rush, uh, edge rushing. Well, we got D Law. Yeah, you, there's, you, you there's got no one. laws with D Law. <laughs> D Law is a, a a perennial Pro Bowler, soon to be Hall of Famer. After we win the Super Bowl this year, I mean, <laughs> I love D Law. He's swagged out too. I wish uh, Stephon Diggs' his brother good luck as well as a cornerback. Yeah. Oh yeah, Trayvon yeah. Diggs. Trayvon Diggs. Trayvon Diggs. He's a guy who just gave up haymaker to Metcalf on that touchdown yeah, last year. Yeah, he did. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, uh, you love to see it? Question mark. I absolutely love to see it, <laughs> brother. That was one of the most satisfying plays I've ever watched in Cowboys history. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it was it was a beastly play for sure. Yeah. I mean, he got dusted. He got downright dirt dog dusted. Absolutely. And that's DK Metcalf. That's it a d- bad mama jamma. Right. And. Just catches the ball, starts walking into the end zone, and pop! Boom. Right in the kiss of Right. The ball goes <laughs> right into the stands, honestly. He yeah. gave it a Conor McGregor haymaker. Yeah, he did. And he sent that thing north, and it was a uh, safety. Yeah, he talked about that on Hard Knocks, punching the ball. Uh, it was out like his defining moment? Yeah, well, I mean, they, they, they had a little bit where they were putting on punch, uh, boxing gloves. And uh, yeah, like they were, he was talking about punching the ball. You just get one clean hit, and there's no one who can hold the ball kind of a thing. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a big part of it, but he, he mentioned it. I mean, that's, that's one of the key traits any defensive back needs in play is being able to Disrupt punch the, the shit. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Uh, Penny... I'm blanking on his last name, but there's a guy who's known, Penny Tillman, known for just the most beastly haymakers that from Pat, a corner. Is that like Pat Tillman? Is I that his nickname? I think so. Okay, sweet, sweet. Yeah, I, yeah. I he was a badass. I think we're thinking the same guy. I think so, too. Brother, we love the NFL talk. We do. And I would just like to go ahead and throw out my Dallas Cowboys uh, seasonal prediction. Please do, please do. Yeah, for yeah. a regular season record. Okay. We're gonna start we're gonna start here. Maybe we'll circle back to our playoff true predictions. Sure. At, sure. at, at the end. But uh we got the Cowboys going eleven and six. six. Okay. Eleven and, eleven and six. And starting out hot, I think we're gonna get a win against Tampa Bay and good old You think so? Good old goat man Tom Brady. I, I think it's going to be uh, 
a 10 point cowboy win. Do you think he starts slow? You think that's the reason or uh, what yeah. do you what do you think is the defining moment in that game? Yeah. I I think it's going to be Cowboys Cowboys are coming out hot. Yeah, Dak gotcha. is going to be coming out hot. Gotcha. Which I I love Dak. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, a lot if, of people are that, critical of him, but if, I love that. If that happens, if they win that first game, yep. I think momentum wise, that could carry them to 11 and 6. I could see that. If they lose that game, I don't see them going more than uh, nine and eight or eight or nine. If eight we nine. lose the first game, yeah. If you lose that first game, I think momentum wise, I think the Cowboys and Mike Mike McCarthy, I think he needs a win 